Wondering about the cost of charging an electric car compared to fueling a gas-powered vehicle? Here we'll break down the cost and help you find out if going electric could actually save you money. Before we continue, let's quickly identify some key terms. When it comes to the capacity of the battery of your EV, kilowatt hours is the metric that you'll use. There are three main styles of charge ports for EVs in the US. Chatmo is the oldest format and is only available on Nissan and Mitsubishi products today. It will eventually be completely phased out. The two that you need to know about are CCS and NACS. If you drive a Tesla, you are familiar with NACS. If you drive any other EV, you should be familiar with CCS. Starting in 2024, however, you will start seeing the NACS format on non-Tesla vehicles. There are three levels of EV charging power: level one. Level 2 and DC fast charging. Levels 1 and 2 can be achieved via household outlets, while DC fast charging is restricted to public charging stations. This is because these stations can convert the AC current to the DC current directly inside the charger, which requires a much larger draw of power from the grid than is legally allowed from your home. All new EVs can charge at DC fast charging stations, but depending on the car, they can have peak charging rates anywhere from 50 to 350 kilowatts. Charging at levels one and two requires the vehicle's onboard AC to DC inverter. When it comes to both the charging speed of that inverter and the charging station it is accepting power from, you'll see kilowatts as the unit. A kilowatt is also used to identify an electric motor's power output, but because horsepower is still the preferred metric in the U.S. for vehicle performance, manufacturers will still advertise that number in horsepower. With all of that out of the way, let's talk about the cost of charging. First and foremost, charging at home is generally the smartest and least expensive option. In fact, we don't recommend you buy a new electric car unless you are able to do this consistently. In the average case, it's going to be less expensive per month than buying regular unleaded gas for a gas vehicle. Public charging stations, while sometimes free, charge time-based fees that cost more than the home charging typically does. Most manufacturers offer free charging through specific charging networks like Electrify America for a fixed period of time after the purchase of the vehicle, but not all of them do. These rates all vary based on the network and the location of the charging station, but they can also be set by the businesses that install them in their parking lots or parking decks. While internal combustion engines use miles per gallon as a measurement of efficiency, electric vehicles use miles per kilowatt hour, and the industry average for efficiency right now is about three miles per kilowatt hour. Divide that from miles driven in the U.S. per month, and you will use about 375 kilowatt hours in that time frame. Using the U.S. household average of about 16 cents per kilowatt hour, charging an electric car at home exclusively would cost nearly $60 per month. Comparatively, with gas prices at about three dollars and forty-two cents per gallon on average, in a thirty-mile per gallon car, you'd spend about one hundred and twenty-eight dollars a month to drive the same distance. Electricity rates vary depending on where you live, but because electricity rates are always the lowest at night, it makes so much sense to charge your vehicle at home overnight. If you want to charge at home at level two speeds, keep in mind that installing a level two charger at home can be done through the manufacturer or third-party options, but it's going to cost roughly two thousand dollars or more, potentially adding value to your home, but also cutting your charging times in half. In conclusion, charging an EV is generally cheaper than fueling a gas-powered car. But costs vary depending on location, charging type, lifestyle, and vehicle. If you want to charge your EV for the least amount of money possible, home charging remains the most cost-effective option. For a deeper dive into all things EV, Kelly Blue Books got you covered.